Okay, this is um, what the screen should look like here. If we go to www.adhdnews.com, you'll notice in your Firefox browser at the very bottom with the tool installed, there should now be three little indications down here. One of them is called PageRank, another one's called Alexa, and Compete. Now, PageRank is very important. I'll tell you the story behind that. The people who started Google, a guy named Larry Page and Sergey, or Sergey, actually had noticed that as they were doing their PhD theses that the papers that were published, that were quoted more often in thesis papers, were papers that had uh, more prominence, or they were they had more uh, authority, if you will. And so they decided that, gee, the web should really be the same way. If you have a number of sites that link directly to another site, there must be something very special about that site. For example, there is millions of sites that link to Google, therefore it has a higher page rank. There's probably a lot of sites who link to CBS and vice versa. Likewise, if other sites like a CBS, for example, link directly to you, there's a good chance that you're going to borrow some of CBS's prominence when you do that. So the way Google handles this is, is that they compute the page rank with this little cloud, as you can see here. It's kind of like their superior calculations along with their PhDs and out pops out your page rank. Well, that's essentially a very simplistic explanation of what a page rank means, but it's a very key and important criteria when you look for a site to buy. I like to look for sites that are in the 2 to 6 page rank, because any site is in the 2 to 6 page rank, I have a pretty good idea that that's going to be a site that's got some good bones, good, good bone structure, if you will, that I can either one, improve it, the page rank, or two, I've got something that I can start with that's going to be valuable, that's going to be worth even more later. Next is I look at another thing here called the Alexa ranking. The Alexa ranking is really one of the most important things that I look for right away. It's sort of the rough cut, if you will. If I look at the Alexa ranking, that tells me how a site's ranked. And in this case here, uh, ADHD News at the time has about an Alexa ranking of 165,282. Now that might seem like a lot, but consider that Google is sort of the top ranked site, and then of course it goes to 10 million, which in this case the 10th million site probably a lot, a lot of people go to. So I'm in the top 1%, if you will, or actually the top 2% uh, of sites on the web, which is a good indication that that site has significant traffic and it has people coming to it every single week, every single day, and that's going to be, that's going to have some value to it that I can also improve upon. Next is uh, the compete.com. Now this compete.com is actually kind of something new. Uh, there's a website that I'm going to show you in the next video, compete.com, that provides additional information that can be very helpful for you in making decisions on whether to purchase a site. We're going to go over everything in the Compete that it has. Compete ranks sites between sort of 1 and 1 million. And in this case here, I have a ranking of 45,240. And that's a pretty decent ranking. Once again, it puts me um, in the top 10%, uh, if you will, of sites that are out there. So I like that. Um, and then we're going to go into a couple of the special features of this particular product uh, or the, the add-on that we have here. And one of those is if you click on the little at sign here to the bottom, uh, you see that there's a menu here that has a number of things that are going to be very interesting for us to look at. Uh, the first thing that I look at after I get to a site, I look for a site that's a link that says show me the backwards links. Um, in this case here, I look for the links that are coming from the domain. I'm going to look for all those links. Now, for those of you that don't know what a link is, as I kind of mentioned before, a simplistic explanation is is you want to find links, or, or, or a link if you will, is a link that another site links directly to you on. Um, to get an idea of what that is, let's say for example that you're um, Yahoo, and let's say that you happen to have a site that talks about say search engine rankings or whatever that site happens to be. If Yahoo links to you in an article or links to you from their site, there's a good chance that your site is an authority for that particular subject. 
Uh, but of course, that's not always true. There are literally thousands of links that point to a site. In this case here, I've got a total of about 44,000 links that point directly to me. Now that's coming to that's coming to the entire site ADHDnews.com, which is a pretty good number. Now some of those links are actually links that are within my site already. That is, they're not coming from the outside, but they're internal links as well. And I, what I tend to look for is I tend to look for only those links that are pointing from the outside. And we can actually go through this again in another video where we talk about the value of a link and then determining kind of who links directly to you. And when you're purchasing a website, you want to know what links are out there. What I like to do is I like to find sites that have at links of at least 50 to 200 links through Google and Yahoo. If I can find that number, that tells me that I've got a site that's going to have good traffic. Because even though search engine rankings fluctuate month to month, I want to have a consistency of having link traffic that points directly to me already. And it's besides, that traffic is a very directed form of traffic. It's someone who clicks to you from another site. So therefore, there must be a reason why they want to come to you and that's very helpful that generates traffic that is very helpful to um, to maintain sort of I would call sort of a steady flow of traffic that doesn't flirt, fluctuate with search engine traffic because those people who link to you unless they physically remove that link there's going to be traffic coming directly to your site at all times so even if I were to lose perhaps a lot of my ranking in Google, I would still have a steady flow of traffic that would be coming to all my sites. Of course, I don't want that to happen, of course, but you get my drift, and that is that sites that, in fact, uh, link directly to you are so important. As you can see here, there are a lot of sites here. Um, you've got uh, everything from, um, from well, let's see, in this case here, I think I've got a lot of things from Tribes, which in this case sounds like a search engine. Um, there's a couple of things here from Dig. Um, there's a, which is a site that ranks sort of um, uh, popular content, and I can go on pages and pages. I can say there's about 40,000 of these things that point directly to me, and these links are, as I said, pretty important. Um, I'm going to go over this a little bit more when I discuss sort of what my criteria is for a site that's a site that I really, really want to buy, and I'll kind of walk you through that here. But right now I'm just going to go over the basic stuff that's in this tool. Uh, that pretty much covers that. Uh, you can configure the tool to actually give you a list of sites that link directly to you from the status bar here. Uh, in this case here I can actually look at sites that link directly to me and go directly to those. Um, but one of the things that's most interesting about this tool is that what's, it does what's called a show who is. So I'm going to go back to ADHDnews.com right now. So if I find a site that I like, I can click or right click here over this little at sign and actually do what's called a show who is. Now in this case it's not going to show that much information because who is is sort of like a phone book if you will of who owns a site. You would use this whenever you are want to make contact with the current owner of the site. In this case here, my registration information isn't shown because it's hosted or the domain is hosted by GoDaddy. So GoDaddy has information that it doesn't share with the rest of the world. I would physically have to go into GoDaddy and sign in in order to look at who uh, owns that particular site. But the fact that all this information is available at your fingertips is very helpful. It makes site evaluation faster and it gives you very powerful tools that you can use to make decisions right away. And we're going to cover that in our next video here where we're going to discuss more criteria on how to evaluate a site. And we're going to use three different sites that are going to give us some really great background information that's going to help us make a decision on whether we should either pass on the site or make an offer on the site. So let's go to the next step.